Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. This one's going to be a little bit different as you can see. Uh, a couple weeks ago one of my 7th grade students came up to me and said, Hey Mr. Pollock, I have a present for you. And uh, he handed me this. It's a 3D printed mouthpiece that he did. Uh, it's not from any company or anything. He handed it to me and said, Hey, check it out. Let me know what you think. So, I figured I'd make a video. I'm going to play a few different styles on it. I'm going to start playing with the backing track so it has some context. Then after, I'm going to play a little bit acapella just so you can hear it without anything else. Um, I did put a mouthpiece patch on it just because I put that on all my mouthpieces. It's more comfortable for me. So uh, I'm curious to see what it sounds like and uh, let me know what you think. Thank <laughs> you. 
what'd you guys think? Did you enjoy the sound of it? Um, I did. I actually really enjoyed playing this and I really enjoyed the sound that came out of it. A lot of people always ask me, you know, how does it feel? How does that piece of equipment feel when you play? Because that's really what matters to the player. And I, I agree. I, I believe the feel matters sometimes more than the actual sound that's produced. Because if you feel comfortable while you're playing, I think you'll be able to get to the sound that you want a little easier. Um, and honestly, it felt great to play. Um, it, I have no idea what tip opening it is or chamber or anything like that. I, I just slapped it on and played it. Um, and by the way, my equipment, I'm using my regular Eddie Daniels Rovner uh, with Daddario Select Jazz 3 medium filed reads, the same reads I always use on alto. And it felt just fine. Anybody can pick this up and play it on a gig. I can play it on a gig, no problem. And uh, the only thing is the bright blue color, but hey, you know what, it adds a little, uh, adds a little flair to it. So let me know what you guys thought of this mouthpiece and uh, if you were surprised one way or the other, if it was about what you thought, or if you have any other comments about 3D printed mouthpieces in general or just about anything gear related. If you would like to hear me play a specific song or make a specific video with this mouthpiece, let me know. Um, I'm gonna keep it and I'm gonna play it here and there and uh, who knows what'll come of that. Thanks for checking this one out. Please check out some other videos on my channel. I have lots of different kinds. Subscribe to stay notified of all the new videos. I have a ton coming out, especially this summer. Thanks for watching again and I'll see you at the next video.